Hi everyone, I'm Sierra Flores and I am the Everyday Educator. And so if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I post videos for teachers, tips and tricks for parents and also read alouds for students. And so if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely take some time to hit that subscribe button so that that way you're notified whenever I post new videos. I've been getting a lot of requests lately for Google Slides themed activities. And so one common request is for drag and drop specifically. And so this mini tutorial is all about how you can create drag and drop activities for your students and even at home for your children. Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you now how I create drag and drop activities for my students. Now, one note, this background and the template that I'm using, I actually created it from scratch. And so if that's something you're interested in, then check back for a later video and I'll show you exactly how I created this background and chose these fonts to make this template, okay? Um, but that's for a later video. Today, we're focusing on the art of the drag and drop. So to get started, I'm going to show you a few examples that I've already created. And so with this slide, it's just, um, you can see that we have our consonants here and there are animals. So the students will have to drag the animals and drop them on the continent that they belong on. The next one is an example, choose a correct spelling. So the students will take this check mark and they'll drag it over to the correct spelling. And so they'll continue doing that for each one of these. And then another example is here, sort each food in the correct, sorry, in the appropriate category. And so if you see, there are several different foods listed here. And so what the students will have to do is drag and drop these um, fruits and vegetables into the category that they belong in. And so another thing you could do here, instead of the text, you can use images. And so you could Google the image of an avocado, of a potato, of corn, carrot, beans, so that that way you have the visual support instead of the words. And that's just gonna be something that's based on your class, your grade level, your learners, okay? But these are some examples of what you can do for drag and drop. And so I'm gonna press escape on my slides and I'm going to insert a new slide so that that way I can begin um, showing you how I create a drag and drop from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and give mine a title. It's gonna be a math theme today. And so it's gonna be even and odd number sort. There we go. I'm gonna make that um, centered because it's bugging me that it's not in the middle. There we go. So now I'm going to add in a table. So I'm going to go to insert table. And then I'm going to have one for my headings. And then I'll have three boxes for them to sort their shapes in. Okay. So in here, I'm going to put even and odd. And of course, I'm going to center those. And if you know me, you know I'm really big about my fonts. I'm one of those people that judges you by the font you use. <laughs> I know it's crazy. All right, so I have my fonts set. Now I'm going to format my table, make it look a little better, make the lines black, and then I'm going to make them a little thicker. So let's go for how does that look? That looks good, I can work with that. So now I'm gonna take my actual table and I'm going to move it up. And then I'm gonna move this over a little bit. Whenever you're hovering, make sure that you see how it's a line now versus before it had the crosshairs. Look, I have a line. And so I'm gonna slide this over. I'm gonna go on the other side as well, slide it over. And then I'm going to press enter here just so that I have a little bit more space for everybody to put their things in. Um, all right, so that's the first part. I'm going to slide this over to the side right here out of the way. And now I'm going to insert some shapes. And these are going to represent my numbers for the day. So I'm going to go and mm, what shape do I want to use? I'm just going to be. Um, basic, and I'm just gonna get this shape here. All right, so here's my shape, basic shape. I'm going to fill it pink. I like that color, it's a nice shade, I enjoy it. And I'm gonna make the line black and then make it four point. There we go. 
And so now I see what it looks like. And you can double click inside this and then you can write whatever number it is or word that you want to write. So I'm going to put the number four. And of course, you know how I am with my fonts. And so I'm going to change that font. I'm going to center it and I'm going to put it on. Let's see if I can fit 30 in there. Oh yeah, I can definitely fit 30. I could probably fit more than that. So let's just see what 40 looks like. Boom, there we go, 40. Now I'm going to click on this shape. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to paste as well. So that that way, whoops, I'm gonna copy this. And then I'm going to paste it so that that way I get a bunch of these. And so I'm gonna just continue clicking Control V and I'm gonna paste out several of these. So now I have a ton. I'm just going to put some numbers in them. Like what about the number 13? And then we're going to take this one. Let's make it the number nine. And then um, moving on, I'm just going to make that 14. Nice and easy. And then here I have another one. I'm going to turn that one into a two. Over here, I'm going to turn this four instead of a four we are going to make that the number seven so as you can see here i have um all of my numbers laid out and yeah it looks a little unorganized but you can spend the time to organize it this is just a, a quick tutorial you know so it's not going to be perfect and in order for now so all right so now what you are going to do if you present this Yes, you'll be able to see it in a larger, um, like in a larger capacity. And so what you might do is show this so that that way your students, they can go ahead on their own and try this on um, at their desk or at their table or at home if they're learning, if they're practicing this from home. They can practice this from home. So that way they already kind of do their sort. And then whenever students come up to the board to actually sort this, or if they're doing it on their own, that way they already kind of have a guide that's set for them and they don't have to be nervous or embarrassed if they get it wrong because they know that I've already got this set, I thought about it, I'm ready to go. When your kids are ready to um, go up to the board or do it on their computers if you're doing this remote learning, then all you're going to do is a simple drag and drop. All right, so four, is that even or odd? We know that four is an even number, so as you're dragging, bring it over to the even side. In hindsight, what I might do next time is make these um, smaller so they fit directly inside. So keep that in mind. Um, 14 is also even, so I'm gonna drag it over to the even side. Seven is odd, so I'm gonna drag it over to the odd side, and then I'm gonna continue this until I finish. And then um, after I finish, I will have a completely sorted table and all my numbers are in the right spot. And then I can display this. And then if you want, you can have a number talk with your class so that they can talk about, well, we put four in the even category. Why is even four? Or sorry, why is four even? And have a talk about that so that that way, because it's one thing for them to be able to know, okay, even odd, even odd, I have these numbers memorized. But it's a completely different story whenever you ask them, but why is it even? What makes that number odd? Well, what if I took that number and added one to it? Would it still be odd? Well, one is an odd number. If I add one to anything, then it should be odd too, right? And so really getting students to be able to defend their answers, that takes their learning up to another level and that helps it to be rigorous as well. And so this was a super quick mini tutorial on how you can create a drag and drop activity. Um, I hope that this helps you. Be on the lookout for more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching.